and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and an intriguing puzzle today. Um, from the sparsity of clues in this, I am sensing this is amazing. Look, only those cells in the grid have clues. I mean, what the heck are we going to do with this acreage of real estate with no clues in it down here? Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. It's got to be something to do with a negative constraint. Um, First of all, I do want to mention the Heatwave Sudoku Hunt, which is available to our Patreons. Thank you so much if you are subscribed to us as a Patreon. Have a look at our Patreon page if you're not. Uh, there are occasional free posts, but some of the extra content we provide for Patreons is brilliant, and that includes Grockle's Hunt, which is this month's reward puzzle uh, for the Patreons. So do give it a go. We've got until the 20th before we're going to close the date and draw a winner, give it a try. Um, it is a fantastic series of, well, appropriately, thermos and slow thermos. Now, um, that's there. Obviously, you can always get our apps. They, the whole stable of them is available under uh, in the links under the puzzle. We're also just debating what our next one is going to be at the moment. So news on that at some point to follow, unless Simon said already, which is possible, I don't know. Um, and of course, Simon did a live stream the other day, which is fascinating. Um, so we're kind of trying to learn the technology to do that. That's a thing that we might start introducing soon. Really interesting. There's Sven's Sudoku Pad app. There are uh, merchandise. There's Discord. All the links under the video are worth looking at, frankly. That's my opinion. Anyway, let's have a look at this puzzle, which has come in from Ransk, a uh, regular contributor to videos for this channel. And uh, I think he sent this one months ago, and then he reminded us recently. So we're going to have a go at it today. It is called Two Degrees, and there is a fascinating negative constraint. So um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along thermometers must increase from the bulb to the end. So far, so normal. Now, diagonally adjacent digits joined by a white dot, like those two, must be consecutive. Now, the same applies to those two. They are also diagonally adjacent and joined by a white dot. Those joined by a black dot must have a 1 to 2 ratio. So those two must and those two must. 1 and 2, the numbers 1 and 2, might be joined by a white or black dot, because, of course, they are either consecutive or have that 1 to 2 ratio. No other diagonally adjacent digits in the grid can be consecutive or have a 1 to 2 ratio. So that's very explicit. If you had a pair of cells here, I mean, you do, those diagonally adjacent cells cannot be consecutive or have a 1 to 2 ratio. Same for those, same for these same for those, etc. Um, it's not quite the same, I think, as saying there can be no other dots, because I don't know how you'd mark it if those were consecutive and those weren't, for instance. Like, would that get a dot? Anyway, this is explicit. No other diagonally adjacent digits in the grid can be consecutive or have a 1 to 2 ratio, which seems to me astonishing that you can make even four or five rows of a grid without that happening. Seems remarkable. But Clearly, that must be occurring because that's what it says. So do give this a try. I don't know why it's called two degrees. Maybe they're of freedom, but uh, maybe we'll find out. Um, I'm absolutely fascinated, longing to give this a go. So I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And let's do that by good lifting the thermo. Now, these two cells and most of the diagonally connected ones must have a jump in. They can't be consecutive because there's no white dot. So one, three is the minimum, then four, because that is consecutive, six, eight. Okay, so there is only one degree of freedom, in fact, on this thermometer. Six, seven, eight, or nine. Oh, but that's on a black dot, and that, yeah, there's, there's no reason why crop key is different diagonally from... Um, orthogonally, certainly in respect of what numbers can appear on it. This can't be a 9 because that would have to be 4.5 or 18, and that ain't going to happen. So we'll put an 8 there, and that fixes this whole thermo at the minimum. This is now a 4 because of the black dot. This is a 1 or 2 because it's smaller than 4 and not 3. 
this is consecutive to that. Well, so it has to be two because it can't be one or three. So that's actually a one. This is five, seven or eight. And this one's six, seven or nine by the thermo. Oh, look. Yeah, again, there are, there are only six Sudoku digits that can be on a black Kropke dot. They are one, two, four. Well, one, two, three, four, six and eight. And this sees all of those except three. So that's a three. This is six. That can't be six. This is diagonally touching a six. So it can't be five or seven. So suddenly we've already done the clued area. Oh my God, the rest of this is going to be done by a negative constraint, I suppose. So what's this? Can't be nine, eight, four, one or three. Now, because of this, it also can't be two or six. And because of this, it can't be five. So it's a weird naked single. That is right, isn't it? Nine, eight, four, one, three, two, six, and five. Yeah. Okay, that is a seven. So this, three, two, one. Ah, it's four, no, five or six. There's a four in the box, okay. Um, oh, look, what does that do here? That stops this being five or six. It does because they'd form a consecutive pair that had no mark on, so no circle. So that can't be five or six now, and it can't be nine because of the eight. So that's a two. These Oh, six can't be up here, can it? No, because it's touching the seven. So six is there. I've got a five nine pair that I don't think I can disambiguate. Wow. So let's have a look down here. Three, four, two, six, and one seven applies to both of those. So they're from five, eight, and nine. No, there's a six there, so this can't be five. It's very hard to look at these diagonal relations. It's so unnatural to me. Um, what about this? Three, four, two, six. Can't be five because of the... F Again, same thing here. It can't be eight or nine because that would break. So this can't be eight or nine or three, four, two, six or five. So one or seven, I think. I keep being tempted to look across and say it can't be one, but that's not appropriate. There's no king's move here. So mm, at some point, I'm probably going to suddenly do that. Like think this can't be a three or something. What can this be? Nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, this is a naked single. That No, it's not. I did exactly what I'm talking about. I was just about to rule that this is a five because it sees nine, eight, seven, six, one. And because of that three, it can't be two or four, but it can still be three. So that is three or five. Six, four, one, three by Sudoku. Five and seven because of that six. So this is two, eight or nine. Eight, that's not, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, this is really only, the rule is helpful where you have definite numbers, but much less so where you don't. So nine, six, eight, because of the three, it can't be two or four. So it's one, five or seven there. This one, one, two, four, three, eight. Ah, can't be five or seven. So that comes down. To, it's surprising how few candidates there are for some of these cells. Let's have a look at this. Six, four, one, three, can't be nine, can't be eight because of the nine, can't be seven because of the eight. Six, I don't know, I'm losing track. So it can't be seven, eight, six, four, one, or three. Oh, it can be all of, no, it can't be nine because of the eight, so it's two or five. This one, nine, eight, seven, six. Ah, five and three, both ruled out by this six. One, two, or four. This C is a five nine pair, so one three or four, I reckon. 
five, two, nine, eight, six, and that adds, oh, it can't be four, that eight rules out seven and four. Right, if this is one or three, that can't be two. So it's either this is a three and that has to be a one, or this is a one and that's a four. So there's definitely a one in those cells. <sighs> Does that help? What's this? Can't be two, five, nine, or eight. Or one now. So three, four, six, or seven. That's not quite as helpful as I thought. Where's eight go? Ah, eight in the box goes in one of those two cells. And they both see this one, so that can't be a four. That's right. I believe that. Yes, that's a one. That gives me a three here, so that's not three. Um, so what's this now? Two, four, or five? Well, no, hang on. It can't be four, because that would clash with both two and five. So this is a two-five pair. That's bizarro. That's not six anymore. So we've got four, seven, and eight to go in these cells now. I'm probably missing stuff as we, we get things done that can't pick anything out yet, but I probably am. Anyway. Never mind about my shortcomings. Let's keep going. Um, this, 32591, can't be 7. So 4, 6, or 8. Now, no, hang on. 4 has to appear in this row somewhere. So it's in one of those two cells. So that's not 4. 4 is a difficult number, actually, to fit in anywhere. Because if you were to put a 4 here, then these cells can't include... 8, 2, 3, or 5. So if that was a 4, the one surrounding it would have to be 2, 3, 5, and 8. 9, 6, 7, 1. So that would still work here. But 4 is difficult, and that's probably worth... It might even be a whole different way of attacking the puzzle, which I hadn't thought about. Ooh, I'm not changing my horse in midstream this time, though. Let's keep going as we are. Um... Five, two, nine. So one is up here somewhere. Six is in that group as well. Oh, this can't be four because of that four. Sorry, that was very obvious. Now, whichever that is will resolve this, but it could go either way. Irritating. Um, what's this? C's one, six, and eight. Also can't be seven, nine, or four. So it's two, three, or five. Three, nine, six, eight. Five and seven, because of that, are gone. So this is one, two, or four. That must stop this being a two. Yes. Any of one, two, or four would have a dot or a, a connection with the two. Three and five stops that being a four. Ah, oh, come on. Um, if that's a two, that's a five. Now, it still works. Just feel like I'm on the verge of a breakthrough now. Maybe am I missing something? Probably am. Can't be helped. Oh, look, two or five there. They both would break with a four here, because two is ratio one to two, and five is consecutive, so seven there. Oops, seven there. So that's eight. This is four. The eight fixes this as six. Look, that works on two of these possibilities. That's one. That's two. That's five. That finishes box one. That's beautiful. Four must go here. This can't be three or seven. Oh my 
goodness, look at this. Suddenly you get on a roll and stuff happens here. Um, that's not five. So this is an eight, nine pair, which I sort of suspected. Oh, this hasn't... One, oh no, hang on, sorry. This can't be a one, obviously, sorry. That's a seven. That fixes this as a nine, eight. These are a one, five pair. Uh, then we've got six, seven, and eight at the end here, but that seven, God, I thought for a moment it broke this, but it can be a seven. It can't be six or eight, that's fine. So seven, six, eight. This, this can't be three or four because of that, but it can be two again. Same, same worry. Oh, two now is looking at that. So five there, one there. Now I've got four whole boxes done and I feel like the king of the world, but I probably still have big stuff to do. No, that's seeing two and eight. So that's a nine. This is seeing a five, so that's a three. This is a two, four pair. That I still can't resolve. This, we've got one, six, and eight. Let's get rid of the corner marks. That can't be six because of the three. Now, if that was a four, this would be eight. If that was a two, this would be one which is fascinating, but doesn't get resolved. Let's have a look at these triples down here. One, two, six, but that can't be two. Three, eight, nine, but that can't be three because of the two. Four, five, seven, but it can't be five because of the four. This is crazy. Two, seven, nine. Oh, and I can't rule any of them out, but maybe that'll help narrow one of these down. That can't be six because of the five. One, four, eight, and it can't be eight for both reasons. Oh, that didn't give me anything. What about this? Three, nine, one, two, seven. Also can't be six or four, uh, five or eight. Oh. Maybe I need to, if that's a two, no, sorry, if that was a four, five can't be there. So that's a five. Then that's a nine and that's a three. And then six can't be diagonal. So four, five, nine, three, six. That must either go there or there. If it's four, five, nine, three, six there, we have an eight here. Then we have one, two, seven. Four, five, nine, three, six there. That becomes a one. Ah, I don't know. Oh, don't get stuck now. What am I missing? If I, I think I did all these right. Oh, hang on. Oh no, this is lovely. Look, one of these is a three. If it was that one, what are you going to put in here and here? One of them would end up being a six or a two, which which is impossible. So that can't be three. They can't both be one. So that's not a three. So three is here. And that means this isn't six or two. Yes, it does. So that's one. That's six. That's two. So this can't be two, that can't be three, this can't be one. Ah, three or five there, so this can't be four. <laughs> it's magic, this puzzle. It is witchcraft. That eight looks across here, nine, eight. This is insane, by the way. That can't be seven. Oh, come on. Um, four, two, two. That can't be four, so that's five. So we can take nine out of here, five out of here. Chocolate teapot triple. No, it's not because one of those is a four. So that's not a three. Wonderful. Yet again, this, oh, I can't get to the cell. <laughs> that one can't be a seven now because of the six. So that's nine, does the triple. 
That can't be six. Oh, well, it couldn't have been by Sudoku. So um, one and four here. I can't deal with them. Four and seven. They're not resolved. So two, three, and four here. But this sees both one and four. So it can't be two. Oh, look. Uh, sees two and three there. So it's a four. Um... That doesn't fix these. Four, two, three, six. Oh, eight there. That does fix this. Five. And that fixes this. Eight, six. And now I know I can go up here. So eight sees that. That's a one. That can't be two. So let's just do this. Four means this is a nine. Seven and five. This sees one and six. Oh, what an incredible incredible puzzle. This is so, at the same time, genius and weird. That becomes two. Right, so one and seven, and we know which way around they go, thanks to the eight. Six and nine, and that can't be a six, thanks to the seven. What an incredible feat that has been. Well done, Ransk. I mean, it's not easy, that. That is... To keep spotting those diagonal relationships everywhere and avoiding those is difficult, especially as I'm continually tempted to eliminate the same digit. I, maybe you're not, but that, that was my constant temptation. I'm very relieved to have got through that without having done that. It's such a clever idea. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure I'd want to see hundreds of diagonal crop key puzzles because... They left my brain feeling pretty frazzled, frankly. I mean, it's so clever, though, to come up with this puzzle with just those two dots and a couple of tiny thermos. Brilliant stuff from Ranks, as we've come to expect. Hope you had a go at that and enjoyed it. Um, I'd be fascinated to hear what you made of it. That's really interesting. I hope this is right. It's the sort of puzzle... <sighs> it'd be easy to make a wrong assumption somewhere and and botch it up, and you might even think you'd finished it correctly, but look, I'm relying on the logic I've done throughout. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. Be fascinated by the comments today. Do, do leave us a message about how you found the puzzle or the solve, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>